hey, I bet you guys are thinking, it's time to do lesson five, and I want to work with smart art. So let's do it. Here we go. Come on, Jasper Active. And I'll resize that window so you can see a little bit better. What we're going to do first is go to slide three. On slide three, and I'm going to come up here where it says new slide, and I'm going to insert a title only slide. Then, title, I'm going to type Dublin Tour Route. Now, we have our title. Let's put some smart art in there. Insert tab, illustrations, smart art. I've worked with a lot of smart arts over the years, still work with some. Here we go. We're going to simplify this giant list of smart art to just look at the cycles. And if you hover over, it tells you the name of the cycle. So the one we're looking for is in the top row, third one over, it's called block cycle. Once you select that, click OK, and it puts the smart art in. We're supposed to see a text pane, and last time I used it, I had it minimized. So I'm going to click this little expansion button right here, and that's going to show me my text pane. Now I can look and figure out what I need to type in there. Do not click in the shape. Click over here and do your work in the text pane. So start by typing Grand Canal. And then use the down arrow key to get to the next shape or next bullet. It lands down. Road Stadium. Down arrow. U2. Tribute wall, down arrow, Docklands, down arrow, River Liffey. Now, we need to add another shape. So I, my favorite way with my cursor right there is just to hit enter. But they tell you to come up here and in the add shape button, do the drop down and say add shape after. And you are going to type in Marion Square. Now, it looks like this. If I click off of it, it's all right, but we kind of have some overlap. So it says resize it. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit so it fits and maybe move it down. That looks nice. And let's center Control E or home tab and just click center now we have our dublin tour route and we have our that right there looks good we have our smart art if you've ever been to dublin raise your hand i knew it now it's probably bugging you that this is the order it's in if you've been to dublin because you're going to be zigzagging across on your tour so what we're going to do is click on one of these shapes. I'm going to click on River Liffey. And River Liffey should actually be after Lansdowne Road Stadium. So I'm going to come back up here to Smart Art Design and notice that I can move up and move the River Liffey shape. And the YouTube tribute wall should be after Docklands. So I'm going to say move down. And that puts them all in the right order. I'm going to click right here and say, close the text pane. Next. Now we're going to modify our layout. So under Smart Art Tools, in the Layouts group, right here you're going to say More. Notice there's some quick changes. If we hover over, we can choose a different style. Let's look for the one that's called Basic Cycle, which is actually the very first one. Now we're going to use some smart art styles. So up here in the styles for ch color change or change colors, let's do colorful accent four to five, three to four, four to five. Ooh. Now in smart art styles, you're going to click more and hover over and look at what you can do. What's that one? Powder. Inset. Polished. 
Ooh, subtle effect. Let's be subtle. All right, now in the design tab in the layouts group, do the drop down menu, and you're going to go even further to more layouts. Let's dig in a little bit. And now let's look for a picture accent list. Well, I'm going to look at the lists and picture strips, vertical picture, alternating, vertical picture accent list. That's the one. Okay. Now, notice we have a little picture icon. Click on one of the icons and you're going to browse for a picture from a file. Guess where we're going? Documents, Jasper Active, Resource Files, and there's a check mark picture. Insert. Now with that picture selected, see how the grab handles are around it? I'm going to go to the Home tab and click Copy. Or if you're on your own computer, you can just hit Control C. Now watch this. This is the tricky part. What I need to do is click on each one of these other circles, but don't click the picture, click the circle, then hold the control key and click all the rest of the circles, not the picture inside. And now on the home tab, I can click paste or you can hit control V and notice we've changed all of those to the checkmark picture. Next. Now it says insert a new title and content slide. So here we go. Type future tours and center it. And notice that we can click a smart art button right here. Actually, before we do that, Mr. Jez, read the directions. Type in the bullet points. Rocky Mountain Off-Road Tour, Amsterdam City Tour, Province Farm Tour, and Pacific Coast Tour. All right. There, now we have a, an existing bulleted list. So with that selected, I'm gonna click on the outer edge here and notice up here on the home tab in the paragraph group, we have a button that's called convert to smart art. So if you click it and then you go to more smart art graphics, you're going to look at the lists and then scroll until you find the vertical block list, which I think it might be one of these, the vertical chevron. Oof, we're close. Where's my blocks? Basic block, seventh row, second option. Let's see if we can find this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ver vertical block list. Click OK. That looks nice, but could it look better? You bet it could. Let's change the colors. So we're going to start with Pacific Coast Tour. Select that shape. And under the Format tab, Shape Fill, change it to Orange Accent 2, excuse me, Green Accent 6, Darker 25%. Right there. Now click Province Farm Tour, and this one we're going to do orange, accent 2, darker 25%. And now click on the Amsterdam City Tour, and hit the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of it. At this point, it's time to submit it and get it. Hopefully I won't be marked wrong for not using the shortcut keys on the keyboard. It looks like I got it. Yeehaw.